Hey everybody, let's take a look at the cheapest tablet that I found online and see if it's any good or not. Alright, let's get to it. Ah. So I was recently approached by the folks from Gaomon, who I think at this point many of us know pretty well, as their tablets have been reviewed by a good number of YouTubers in the space. I personally use a Gaomon tablet for YouTube videos, but anyway, they reached out to me because they wanted me to try one of their latest and cheapest tablet options, this being the Gaomon S830 tablet, which comes under 40 bucks if you buy it off Amazon. This is actually the cheapest tablet I have tried. The actual tablet is 8 inches, so it's fairly small, but not so small that it would be unusable. The tablet itself does feel a little bit cheap, but for this price, I don't think you should really be expecting a lot from it in terms of the build quality. I'm also not a huge fan of the pattern they chose for the surface, but I guess it's alright since what matters is that the tablet actually works. At this price, it also doesn't come with any extra accessories outside of the extra nibs, which is nice I guess. The pen is actually really good, and it's also the exact same pen they have used for other tablet models. This pen is actually the exact same one that I use for my other Gaomon tablet. I decided to try it out with ZBrush since this is the program where I typically use a tablet for. The first time I tried it I encountered some problems with the pen pressure, but after contacting Gaomon they updated the driver for the tablet and things seemed to work pretty well after that. In terms of usability, I think the tablet works pretty well. Like I said, the surface is only 8 inches so it's fairly small, but not really uncomfortable. And if you're like me, who's really lazy when it comes to moving my hand around when using a tablet, the small size is actually a plus. I used the tablet to sculpt this model here that you're seeing in your screen, and for the most part it worked pretty well. The pen pressure, everything seemed to work pretty well. The pen itself only has two buttons, which are most of the Gaumon tablets do, and I find that it's more than adequate for something like sculpting which I usually set for left mouse and right mouse clicks. If you're looking for a drawing tablet and don't want to spend too much money, I would say this is a pretty good option. Sure, there are many other more expensive tablets out there with extra features, but in my opinion, a tablet is for the most part a tool, a means to an end. I have tried many tablets throughout the years and can safely say that most are very similar and at least in my case, I don't usually use the extra added features more expensive tablets come with. Alright everyone, that's it for this video, hopefully you liked it, and if you did, hit the like button, if not, leave a don't like button. Alright, see you on the next one. Would you like to learn how to transform this cube into something cool, like a character or this room? I recently put together an intro to 3D modeling course which shows you all the steps needed to do just that. This is a very short video, so I don't have enough time to cover everything. So click the link below now to get more details. Just want to let you know this course is for total beginners, so you don't need any prior experience. I cover all the steps from getting started with the software to creating cool props. Like I said earlier, this is a short video, so click the link below now to get more info about the course and get started today.